So our uh, mat dip 401 uh, today in this class I am going to I finished our solid geometry course solid geometry part today I am going to continue our course with vector algebra actually they are very similar very related both solid geometry and uh, vector algebra are very related just the notations are slightly different that's all uh, they are related, very much related. So if you know, understand one well, you know the other one well. This language is different. Don't bother. I'll help you learn this language. So vectors, what are vectors? Normally, you must have been taught in physics that it's somebody with uh, both uh, magnitude and direction. And when you ask what is magnitude, what is direction, there will be a lot of confusion, a lot of uh, undefined terms. Uh, we won't go into too much into trying to define vectors here. For us, vectors means just an arrow. Think of an arrow. Uh, vector is just a fancy term used for an arrow. It represents uh, various physical quantities like velocity, uh, force, acceleration. We all have both magnitude and direction. That means it has some amount of how much is the velocity I can tell. And also I have to specify in what direction is the velocity. So such things are called vectors. Uh, you know, you, as I said, you have seen many of these in your physics uh, course. We will not bother too much about the physics part. We will study vectors as an abstract object. Mm, what does it mean? So let me explain that. So vectors, uh, typically uh, an arrow means it has a <coughs> there are two ends. One is a tail and one is a head. Uh, in the picture, normally you see this is a vector. PQ is a vector. Q is the head and P is the tail. Uh, also, these are different terms used. Normally, when you draw an arrow, you start from here and go to the that side. You start from P and end up at Q. So, it's, P is called the initial point of the vector and Q is called the terminal point of the vector. So, these are standard notations that's all. And length, how far you go, how long, what is the length of the arrow you are drawn? That is called magnitude of the vector. And it is denoted like this magnitude this you must read it as mod of pq or magnitude of pq that's how you must read this uh, unit vector means a vector whose magnitude is one that means length of this vector if it is one one watt you can ask me one centimeter one kilometer one light year one millimeter no i don't know it depends on the scale so if the length is one i will say it's a unit vector doesn't matter direction doesn't matter so any vector with uh, uh, unit length is called a unit vector. And typically i, j, k are unit vectors in the direction of x, y, z axis. Uh, so this uh, is just a notation. As I said, think of your uh, x, y, z plane, x, y, z uh, three dimensional space. And think of x axis, think of a unit vector on this. Unit vector means 1, 0, 0. That means the vector joining 0, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 0, uh, uh, moving towards positive uh, x axis. So that is denoted as i cap. It's read as i cap. And similarly, the one on the y axis 0, 1, 0 is denoted j cap. And uh, another one 0, 0, 1 is denoted k cap. So these are the unit vectors in the direction of x, y and z axis. In three dimensions, typically vectors are represented as u1 i cap plus u2 j cap plus u3 k cap. It's like representing three uh, any point in three dimensional space 2 comma 3 comma 4. We'll say so that means whatever it means. Uh, similarly, here I'll represent a vector in terms of i cap, j cap, and k cap. That's how it is read. Uh, I want to know how to add two vectors. Okay, I'll try to do some operations on vectors now. So let us say AB is a vector, I'll call it U. BC is another vector, I'll call it V. Now I want to talk about sum of U and V. U plus V is defined as a new vector which is obtained by placing tail of V on head of U. So here is U. You remember A, U, this is U and this is V. Now what I'll do is I'll pick this and take it and place it in such a way that tail of this coincides with head of this. The tail of this is B and head of this is B. So they should coincide here. And then I draw a new vector from 
tail of the first vector a to the head of the second vector c that's what i have done here so u and v are two vectors if i want to add them i'll place v in such a way that the tail of v is on the head of u and then i'll draw a line a new vector from tail of u to head of v so that is u plus v and this is the definition there's no question of uh, why am i doing this this is the definition of addition of vectors similarly one can talk of difference of vectors i not i told you what is negative vector i'll soon tell you difference of vector let's that means you can add and subtract vectors like the way you do numbers but of course different rules so here u what i do is if i want to find u minus v i'll put both u and v at the same place remember for to find u plus v i place v in such a way that tail of v lies on head of u here now i'll place v in such a way that tail of u and tail of v coincide at the same place and draw a new arrow from head of v to head of u that i will call v minus u uh, this is the definition of dif difference of two vectors this is the definition of sum of the two vectors this is the definition of difference of two vectors of course both can be together seen in what is known as law of parallelogram so if you take u and v as two vectors see here is vector u this is the initial point of vector u and there's a final point of vector u this is the initial point of vector v and there's a final point of vector v then law of parallelogram first says that this diagonal of the parallelogram where to get this diagonal from so try to see i have parallelogram means that once i have u and v i can complete it to make a parallelogram once i have only u and v all i do is i place v in such a way that the tail of v is on the head of u and then one of the diagonals is nothing but that this is main diagonal is from tail of u to head of v so this is v plus u this one u plus v or v plus v both are same and so other diagonal of the parallelogram is v minus u because u and v are the same uh, initial point is same and the vector from v to u that is v minus u so two diagonals of a parallelogram whose sides are u and v will give me sum and difference of the vectors which are the sides of a parallelogram so law of parallelogram strictly says just the diagonal is the sum of the two vectors that's all it says but don't bother too much understand this this course is restricted mainly to three dimensional vectors which are represented as i told you already u is equal to u and i u and i cap plus u to j cap plus u3 k cap this is the representation of any vector uh, so i'll show you a figure this is the figure so i have x axis here i have y axis here and i have z axis here I pick up any point P here, uh, that P is at a distance R from the origin. So I return it here, O R. Now I return it like a box here, Q bot, to tell you this P has a X coordinate, has a Y coordinate, and has a Z coordinate. So it is, uh, this length is R. So that length, uh, that itself, O P is a vector then. O is the initial point and P is the terminal point of the vector OP. So vector OP that is called position vector of P. It's called position vector of P that this vector. That means you take any point P, join origin with that point. That vector is called the position vector of that point. Basically what I'm trying to do is confuse you is to tell you the point and vectors, I want to look at them as the same. When I give you a point P, I will give you X coordinate, Y coordinate and Z coordinate. When I give you the same point P as a vector, position vector of the point P, I am giving you its X component, Y component and Z component. That means I am telling you OP is X times I cap plus Y times J cap plus Z times K cap. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So that's what is written here. In the figure that below, whatever you saw, position vector of OP is denoted as XI cap plus YJ cap plus ZK cap. Uh, what are the modulus of R? That means what are the length of R? Length of R is clearly you have to use Pythagoras theorem twice. 
So this is X, this is Y, and this is Z. So if you draw this diagonal on the floor, this is o, uh, X square plus Y square. If you start at O and end at this point, I'll get this square plus this square equal to this square. So this is X square plus Y square is this square and this square plus this square is equal to R square. So R square is X square plus Y square plus Z square, which means R is equal to root of X square plus Y square plus Z square. So that's what I have, I mean, I just proved it to you, but don't bother. You need to know this, that's all. So if you know X, Y, Z coordinates, I can find the magnitude of the position vector. Uh, so let us try to, uh, I told you vectors can be added using law of parallelogram of addition. Uh, but as I said, in this course, we are mainly interested in three dimensional vectors. So I'll give you an alternate description of addition of vectors. So let us say two vectors are there. U is U1 I cap plus U2 J cap plus U3 K cap and V is V1 I cap plus V2 I cap J cap plus V3 K cap. Then their sum is nothing but U1 plus V1 I cap plus u2 plus v2 j cap plus u3 plus v3 k cap just add the corresponding coefficients of i cap j cap and k cap uh, and if s is any real number then the scalar multiplication s u hat is nothing but uh, nothing but because i know u u is u1 i plus u2 j plus u3 k so S U is you multiply S by a scalar. Scalar means real number. Here yeah, right now we are just bothered about real number. So S U is S U one I cap plus S U two J cap plus S U three K cap. Uh, these two are very fundamental operations. This addition and scalar multiplication, or here multiplication by real number. Uh, just make it yours by looking at various examples. I'll try to show you that some of them. Uh, here I can also talk about minus u. Minus u is nothing but minus 1 times u. That is negative of a vector. I have a vector. Negative of a vector I know is in the opposite direction. So how do I describe that using coordinates? This is how you do it by using components. Minus 1 times u is nothing but you defined here. S is minus 1. So minus u1 plus minus u2 plus minus u3. So I'll write it minus u1 i cap plus minus u2 j cap plus minus u3 k cap. This is a negative of the vector u. Uh, it means I am not defined, but we understand u plus minus u will become zero. <clears throat> the, we understand what is minus u. So now to, we also have some more uh, fine uh, definitions basically. When do I say two vectors are equal? u and v, two vectors are equal if all their three components are equal u equal to u1 i cap plus u2 j cap plus u3 k cap and v is equal to v1 i cap plus v2 j cap plus v3 k cap. We say these two are equal if u1 equal to v1, u2 equal to v2, u3 equal to v3. It may sound very silly. Why, why am I wasting time doing this, giving these kind of definition? But you will see this becomes very powerful. It's very innocuous. It will help you understand many problems. And this is another very important operation. I want to find unit vector in the direction of this given vector. Given vector is u is equal to u1 i cap plus u2 j cap plus u3 k cap. Now I want to find a unit vector in that direction. Means I want a vector in the same direction as u, but its length must be 1. Here, length of this is root of u1 square plus u2 square plus u3 square. We saw that uh, in the uh, previous few minutes. So I don't want length to be u1 square plus u2 square plus u3 square under root sign. I want it to be 1. So all I do is, is just divide by root of u1 square plus u2 square plus u3 square. So u hat or u cap is u by magnitude of u. So this is the definition. So not definition, this is the standard procedure which we need to follow. If I have a vector, if I want to find a vector in the same direction as that vector, but length must be 1. Why do I want to do it? I haven't told you, but yeah, we will have plenty of occasion to see why we need to do that. Uh, so unit vector in the direction of given vector is given by u, u by modulus of u or magnitude of u. So u hat by root of u1 square plus u2 square plus u3 square. Let's see some problems that may hopefully it will clear up some of your doubts. So A and B, two points are given. 
and now I want to find the vector AB. Understand? I'm given two points. Uh, maybe one should try to see these in the picture just to show you that it is related to solid geometry. So A is uh, 2, 3, 1. A is 2, 3, 1. So it's not taking a equal to 2 comma 3 comma 1 so here is the point you can see it being uh, you see 2 comma 3 comma 1 so you can see it in this part the point being uh, plotted so this is a and b is uh, 4 comma minus 1 comma 2 so B is, you can see in the screen that it is being plotted 4 comma minus 1 comma 2. So that is what it is. So this is a point A. Here is it's mentioned. Here is a point B. That is what is given here for me. A is 2, 3, 1. B is 4 minus 1, 2. So I have plotted both the points. 4, 1, uh, 2, 3, 1 and 4, minus 1, 2, 4, minus 1, 2. Now, one wants to find A, B. That means if I, I want to draw this vector, I can even draw this vector in this uh, uh, GeoGebra. It's very interesting. So, I start with A and end with B. You can see this vector. This vector, I want... I want to find this vector. Means I want to find what is its length, what all the, the I told you. So this is the arrow AB. I want to find this. Mm, of course, in GeoGebra, I give you immediately what it is. Let us try to compute this. A is given to me, B is given to me. This vector is what I want to see. You can see this vector in from different angles. So that might help you understand. You see, A was here, B was here, and you can see the vector from A to B and I want a unit vector also in this direction that means I, I don't know what is its length right now I want a vector in the same direction as AB but length must be 1 that is the next part of the uh, problem you see find AB and unit vector in the direction of AB so let us see how to do it uh, position vector of A is you see if point is given to me I can find position vector of OA. That means it is 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 1k cap. I won't keep saying i cap, j cap, 3 cap. I'll say i, j, k. Uh, from that, you should be able to understand that it is you, they are unit vectors. They are fixed. i, j, k are fixed for this set of vectors. Uh, so OA is 2i plus 3j plus k. 2i plus 3j plus k. Similarly, position vector of B is 4i minus j plus 2. Uh, oops. Uh, so position vector of B is also given to me and I want to find AB so for that AB is nothing but OB minus OA you can see it in the picture that's actually pretty nice uh, you see here I want uh, I want this vector AB uh, what I want to do is I want to first find just one minute. Let me mark this point also origin. Here it's called C. I will call it O. Rename it as O. This is the origin O and uh, A is point A is here, point B is here. Now I want uh, this vector, I want this vector AB that we saw already, this vector. How do I get this? Directly one can get, but I just want you to see the uh, geometry ones. See this vector, I can see AB. I want this. So how do I do that? So I'll show you that. Uh, you draw position vector of A. What do you mean the position vector of A? I told you. Start with O, end at A. 
this is position vector of a this is precisely the position vector of a a point was given i am showing you its position vector that means draw a line from origin to a that's all that is position vector of a similarly position vector of b is i will draw a point a, a, a vector from origin to b this is position vector of b so you can see this from different angles then it will make it better see this is position vector of a position vector of b both i have got it point a and b are given then i can find a position vector of a and position vector of b now what i want is this vector actually i don't want position vector i want this vector from a to b how to find that that i am showing you through algebraic means here ab is nothing but ob minus oa that you should see it from the figure ab if i want this vector ab it is nothing but ob minus oa uh, i i can't show it to you on this diagram here right now uh, on this picture here uh, but from whatever i how i defined this law of parallelogram of addition and uh, subtraction you should be able to figure this out uh, so i will not write down those details but you must remember this ab is nothing but ob minus oa so if i want vector ab i will draw position vector ob position vector oa and subtract one from the other subtraction i know you just start with 4 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 2 minus 1 with appropriate coefficients i j k so that is the vector ab 2i minus 4j plus k in fact geogebra 2 minus 4 1 you see that's the same as vector ab so uh, i hope you understand this vector is 2 in x-axis minus 4 in y-axis and uh, 1 in z-axis you can see you see 2 in x-axis it will come it has to come this way 2 from here to here and minus 4 in y axis from here to here and 1 in z axis. So 1 in z axis you can see it from here. So this is what uh, vector AB is. So uh, every time you can't do all this geometry in the exam or in your course what is important is given A and B you should know how to find AB. So how do I do that? Find the position vector of a, which is OA, which is 2i plus 3j plus k, similarly position vector of B, and then AB is nothing but OB minus OA, definition. Uh, OB minus OA, now you do OB minus A, carry out 4 minus 2, minus 1 minus 3, 2 minus 1. So all that I do and write 2i minus 4j plus k. This is the vector AB. Now what, what else is, so that answers this question, find AB, this is the answer. Now I want to find the next one, unit vector in the direction of AB. Now if I know AB, how do I find unit vector in that direction? So I, 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 I told you a formula, basically you have to find uh, its magnitude and divide by that. Unit vector in the direction of this is, you find, this is the formula, U cap is U by mod U. Mod u is nothing but 2, 4, 1, sum of their squares, 2 minus 4 and 1, their squares, 2 square plus minus 4 whole square plus 1 square. Magnitude of u1i plus u2j plus u3k is root of u1 square plus u2 square plus u3 square. So I am dividing by that. So this will come 2 square plus 4 square plus 1 square is 21. So I will divide each of these terms by root 21. I get this. That's the answer. This is the unit vector in the direction of AB. Uh, so they could ask, these are all simple, very simple questions. U is this vector, V is this vector, W is this vector. How to find 3U minus 2V plus 5W? I will not show the geometry of all these things. It will take time. It's very easy, but it will take time. Uh, and uh, for the examination point of view, we need to know how to compute, how to calculate uh, the algebraically these things more than the geometric part. So u is given. I'll try to find out as 3u. 3u is you just multiply this by 3. 
So 6i plus 9j minus 21k. Similarly, what is 2v? We multiply v by 2. So minus 8i plus 10j plus 4k. And similarly, what is 5w? It's nothing but you multiply this by 5. You get 15 minus 25 plus 1, uh, plus 5. So now you want to add them. So you add them means you add the i coordinates or x coordinates, i coefficient 6 minus 8 plus 15. That's what I have done here. And j coordinates, I mean y coordinates, j components 9, my, uh, 9 plus 10 minus 25. So that's what I've written here. Oh, this is plus 10 or minus 10. This should be, oh, sorry, sorry. This is, you want minus 20, uh, what do you want? Minus 2b. So you have to multiply everything by minus. So uh, I made some mistake here. Minus 2b. So if I multiply this by minus 2, uh, no, what is 2v is this, so I want negative of this. Uh, 3u, okay. Uh, minus 2v is okay. Ha, so j component, okay, okay, now I understand. Uh, 9 minus 10, because this is already 2v. Uh, 3u, this is 3u minus 2v. So 2v means this, so this minus this. So 6 minus 8, and also I want the third one together, 5w, so which is this. So i components, I'm adding them. 6 minus 8 plus 15, that's correct. 6 minus minus 8, because I'm subtracting 2v. Uh -huh. That was a mistake I was making. 3u minus 2v plus 5w. So that means this minus this. This is minus 8. So 6 minus minus 8 plus 15. Similarly, 9 minus 10 plus 25 and then minus 21 minus 4 plus 5. Correct. So this, I hope I have done it correctly. 6 plus 8, 14. 14 plus 15, 9, 29. Correct. 9 minus 10 minus 1 and minus 25 minus 26j. Correct. And minus 21 minus 4 plus 5. That is uh, minus 25 plus 5 minus 20. Correct. So this is the final answer. 3u minus 2v plus 5w. I hope you understood u is given first find 3u and then find 2v and then find 5w okay just multiply these by 3 2 and 5 then you add subtract whatever you do, the appropriate components that's all you have to do. show that the position vectors of i i plus j and i plus k form a right angle triangle so let us before rushing it let us try to see the pictures for this it will help. We can do without all of them directly. Uh, but let us do this. I, mean, I don't like to just tell you blindly things. So let us just see what this problem is. Uh, this is our three-dimensional space. We want i. i means basically vector 1, right? This is vector i vector is. Uh, let's write that i vector means from origin to uh, this this is i vector 100 zero, zero. Mm -hmm. and what is the other vector i plus j and i plus k i plus j will be uh, how can i draw it directly let me write it here uh, i plus j so that will be on the x y plane so that will be, I'll just draw it directly here, uh, 1 comma 1 comma 0. This is the point. Uh, so I'll draw a vector from here to here. This is i plus j. I'll show you in a slightly uh, bigger zoom in or zoom out. Zoom in, sorry. So this is i and this is i plus j and the third one is i plus k. So i plus k will look like, 
1,0,1. Don't ask me how I did this. I'll just show you the layer vector. This is the correct thing. So now these three vectors are given i, i plus j and i plus k. They are the three vectors which are given. You can see i and i plus j is both how much I go this way, same amount I come. How much I go on the red line, same amount I come on the green line. I plus k is how much I go on uh, red line, same amount I go on blue line. I, i plus j and i plus k. You can see. See, i and i plus j both are in the plane xy plane. i plus k is in the plane of x axis and z axis. It's z plane. That's correct. Now the question is, I want to draw this new line. Line segment I draw. Three line segments. From f, uh, from this i to i plus j and i plus k to i and this i plus this is a right angle triangle is what they are asking us to prove you can see it on the picture it's very easy it's right angle triangle correct you can very easily see if you are getting confused with the other things i can release the other things i don't want to see the other vectors which are troubling me this i want so i don't want these vectors oops So these three vectors I want. These are the the problem is this that show that this triangle what you see on the board is a uh, why is this not going? Anyway, doesn't matter. You can see this is this vector is I this vector is i plus j and this vector is i plus k uh, these three vectors are their tips their heads are forming a right angle triangle that is the question you don't need to see this geometry every time but if you see it it might help you understand what exactly is happening that's all my wish was that's all see this is the triangle so this triangle is a right angle triangle. This is the tip of I, this is the tip of I plus J, this is tip of I plus K. How to show this is a right angle triangle? So that is what is the question. Show that the position vectors of I, I plus J and I plus K form a right angle triangle. That's the question. So let us do this, let O, A, B, I, O, B, B, I plus J, O, C, B, I plus J. All this I have shown you on the diagram already. So OA, OB and OC, I write down the vectors and then I'll find AB. AB is nothing but OB minus OA. This I told you the formula. AB is a position vector of A, position vector of B minus position vector of A. So I know what is OB, what is OA. So I write this minus this will become J and its modulus is 1. Similarly, AC is uh, OC minus OA which is K because OC is this and OA is this so I plus K minus I would be K so AC is 1 similarly BC is OC minus OB this is just O second letter minus O first letter that's the standard thing that's how you define position vector more or less so OC minus OB is K minus J. See this minus this. So I gets cancelled. I'll get K minus J. Whose modulus is root of 1 square plus 1 square which is root 2. So I have three segments. Length of AB is 1. Length of AC is 1. Length of BC is root 2. Uh, so it's just Pythagoras theorem says that uh, sum of two squares, uh, squares of two of the sides is equal to the square on the third side. Root 2 whole square. So 2. So it's a right angle triangle with right angle at A in this notation that you already seen it in the uh, GeoGebra. 
you saw this. This is length one. This is also length one. This is length root two. Easy to see this. So this is this is the kind of problems which you should become familiar with. Now there is one operation called a dot product. So let us how uh, much time do I have? I think I'll stop here. This dot product I will do it in the next class. Dot product, cross product, scalar product. So let's stop here for today for this class. I will continue again next time. Thank you.